best skate shoe of all time, right? Now, wow. listen, very subjective, right? Everybody's got their own best skate shoe, you know? My, I've got mine, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Dubs has got his, you mm-hmm. know? And, and also the best skate shoe of all time uh, evolves, right? Yeah. It's like uh, during, during certain eras. It's a personal preference, This too. skate shoe. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's very yeah. subjective, yeah. you know? So we, would, we thought it would be fun to uh, kind of go through some of our all-time best skate shoes um kind of per on a personal note you know mm-hmm. so Damn, look at that cover page yeah uh, charlie how, yeah. charlie's killing it but like those some of them are really random but i totally remember them yeah. like oh for sure what was okay a the the oh my god why am i tripping on the um the embarco at the bottom left the carol shoe mm-hmm. the dc shoe oh, that was like an incredible shoe yeah i never skated it but i just when he nolly flipped that double set and the four flat four last trick and fucking was amazing. But mm-hmm. what what is that white shoe at the bottom? It's either a Gravis. I think it's Gravis. Gravis. Yeah. Like the old or, sh- or like two fish. No. Damn. Was it? No. Damn. I think that's Gravis like back way when it yeah, first it was, started. Yeah. Gravis like, started like it was a snowboard like offshoot thing. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's what it was. That shit should have been off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a random <laughs> one. But I was like, I, I, I remember like somehow, you know, in the, <laughs> you would see those Unfortunately, that's somebody's favorite shoe right there. Uh, 100%, Maybe it was. 100%. Maybe. But you for would, me, that should be in the corner. Yeah, you would. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lot of it, like, I mean, dude, like the D3, <laughs> Jesus, people fucking wore that thing, dude. They did. They still A do. lot of non skateboarders wore that shit. Hell yeah. But a lot of skaters did wear it. Don't get me wrong. They're still making them, too. That's like crazy. It's for the ravers and fucking. Fred know, Durst. For the diehards. Right? Yeah. yeah. And me. Militia. So we're all for Tim. This Tim's pro model. Damn the Airy, the God, the uh, guy Airy shoe at the top. Yeah, so we got a bunch of shoes that we pulled, like like Kelly. Um, Kelly, what was one of your favorites of all? I times? mean, you know, I work at Soltech, but like, I would say a majority of skateboarders in my era, I think, would say one of the most iconic shoes would be the S XL. Mm-hmm. Uh, not everyone would think that, but I remember watching my favorite skater skating it and be like, wow, that was sick. There's a great shot of it right there. Um, I remember skating my first pair of these. I went, I lived close to Soltech uh, when, when I grew up, and um, I went to a, one of the warehouse sales. You haven't grown up yet. When you grew up. When I grew up. When you grew up. <laughs> uh, yeah, or when I was growing up, whatever. And I went to the warehouse sale. I don't know if you guys got to go to those, like the DC warehouse sales or anything like that back mm-hmm. in the day. I just lived close to it, so it was incredible. Yeah. Size nine, your sample size. Sample for size. Days. I got hella shoes for like ten bucks. Not hella. I mean, I got like three pairs. I didn't have any money at thirty dollars, <laughs> but I got a pair of those. I watched Moses or Moses Modus Operandi. Hmm. I was so jazzed after that video. I didn't even know what part. Like I watched. I, I loved every part, yeah. and I went out and I skated my first time in the Excels, and I did a switch flip, and it was like I already knew I'd do a switch flip. I knew I had to kickflip. When I did it in that shoe, it just felt better. Mm. And this, like, seeing all my favorite skaters skating it, it just, I don't know, man. That, that, if, do you have that, sh- that photo of it? Of, Which like, one? the old photo? It was all ripped up. PJ, PJ one? one? This one. Yep. Damn. Like, I don't know. I remember seeing that as a kid and, like, made me happy almost. Yeah. You're like, that's some PJ you shit. Right those, yeah, you put some time in those shoes. Those yeah. need to be in a Smithsonian. Seriously. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, dude. Hanging next to the uh, golden, what was uh, the plane? The first plane, the, 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 the spruce moose. Yeah, the spruce <laughs> goose. Yeah, the spruce moose. The spruce goose. <laughs> Whoa, there's PJ Land shoes. I mean, that's like you know when flat ground. Like I mean, PJ came out. It was like there were so many gnarly. people. Just like I don't know. He, he, I think that she was already big. Like you would see P Rod in it, but PJ put that thing up there too. You dude. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The reason I started skating that shoe is because I was a huge fan of the um, Etnies Rap. Yeah, yeah, And me too. that was basically like a more comfortable version of the Rap. Totally, And yeah. then when I tried those on, I'm like, later Raps. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, the, the Rap was a little more bulky. And mm-hmm. I remember that specifically because uh, Don Brown sent me some of those as a little old, little young G. Hard. And he sent me some shoes and I was so stoked. And to be honest, like I was like on a spree. Once I, that box came in, I'm like, he got, I got some shoes? I was so used to on some real shit. I'll go to pay less. Mom will go to pay less. We go get some shoes and I put a hole in those things and like seriously like some hours and my mom would be so fucking pissed. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like 
I spent fifteen dollars. It doesn't matter what it was, but it was dumb cheap. Too and she'd be like, "You fuck those shits up that quick." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I'm out there skating. Yeah. yeah. What with the wraps? I feel like I never skated a pair, but it looked like they were always leather for some reason. Were, mm. were there suede no, ones? No, they had suede ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The very beginning. Definitely. Like the high tops, the, the very original high top ones, yes. like the red, blue, and black ones, yeah. those were all suede. Yep. Were mm. people cutting those down? Yes, they yep. were. I definitely did. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it started off with a high top, and then it went down to the low top? Yeah, then made a low. Yeah, that shoe, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm surprised that shoe, I hope that shoe should, that shoe should be in the line now. Yeah. For that would be amazing. historic mm-hmm. purposes, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, that was, that's one of my picks. Yeah. I, I thought that was... Uh, I mean, we had talked about the Stefan Janowski too, so yeah, yeah. It's definitely a Stefan shoe nowadays is definitely one of, my, one of my favorites. Is up there. It's one of my favorites. Also, the uh, the half cap number one, one of my for favorite. Me. One of my wow, favorites. Yeah. Um, that's, that's like top, that's top number five for me. One for me, that has to be. I think overall, like longevity, don't longevity wise, that might be the most. It just uh, turned it thirty. Yeah. yeah, definitely like, thirty it, it, it years. Yeah. It's still. I mean, you got Andrew Reynolds. Yeah. Doing, doing colorways, colorways yeah. on this shoe, mm-hmm. you know, so it's it's crazy, dude. I mean, didn't they do like little altercations over time or something like that to it? Yeah, so they originally they that's considered the uh, the ninety two whatever, but like that's a, kind of the first version of the half cab, and then the um, the toe cap wrapped up onto like the lace loop. You know what I mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. And that became like the normal half cab, and then they've been like doing both of them lately. And it's Awesome because That's like the rad. um the revised version is a little tighter on your foot and this one it feels a little more wider on your foot mm. so it's kind of like you know getting a medium width shoe to a to a tighter shoe you yeah know? yeah I mean it just looks beautiful too yeah, yeah. dude footage is, oh I love Fred Gall wearing them it. oh yeah yeah switch me five zero on Hubba the best thing ever it holds the test of time yeah. for sure yeah. Yeah. no doubt but he's a shoe guy what, what's yours uh, I mean, some pick I mean you said you, you did a lot of shit. I can't do it yeah. Yeah. I can't all do right. like all time but let me let me go piggyback off of what you sent mm-hmm. because this shoe was one of my go to's for the longest fucking period of time the Apple Yard circus that's not the Apple Yard it's that's the CX two hundred one. The next one is the MA four hundred two. That's the Apple Yard. They like the, look wait, similar, right? That's oh, the that. Apple Yard. No, 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 no. There was a I, shoe. I might have labeled it wrong. So there was a shoe that looked, God, exactly like that. It had the three thing. It had the mm-hmm. the little things on the toe. I mean, it looked just like that. Mm-hmm. It was Apple Yard. No, the the next one was an Apple Yard. The one you just went to. Yeah, that's the Apple Yard. No, but there's no things on the. On the toe, there are, but I just don't. I think this is just a low res image. No, There's but see, like, it's a. Do you know what? that has a toe cap on it? I the, think like those I little think that four was actually lines. Apple Yard. This is the CX two hundred one, which he modeled his shoe off of. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so this was yeah. the team model, gotcha. and that's why his was the MA four hundred two because it was doubled. Mm. I swear to God, I like, wouldn't argue with Steve. This, yeah, I wouldn't either. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, I, I, I would say the same thing. I'm arguing. Honest. I'm arguing because I swear <laughs> to God, that's a, that's a low res ass picture. First of all, you can't even <laughs> no. see. There's lines on that thing. I'm but sure. you see, it goes like th- it's a it's a stitch that Damn, goes. Pull up I, feel, I know what you mean. Pull up <laughs> one. So if I'm lying, I'm flying. This Apple Yard, <laughs> I mean this the Apple Yard shoe was just like that man. It had the four. I remember. I was. I mean, four Mark bumps. made that shoe popular. What do you want me to pull up, Steve? Google Circa MA402. He knows the numbers. He knows the numbers. That's a wrap, and he's already like so specific. Like, (laughs) leave it alone. What did you say that one was called again? The CX201. (laughs) Exactly. Like, I don't even. I never knew that. Yeah, you can't fuck with that. I I knew that was like the original. Once he's getting all detailed, I'm like, I'm gonna leave that alone. I think this is like a Mandela effect or something, man. Because I'm, I'm tripping, bro. The one he did, the the Appy Art, he did an ollie foot back fifty fifty. In mm-hmm. that, and he's all like, you know, at the end when he lands. Yeah. I remember that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Maybe Tim will pull something yeah, up. Yeah, he'll here, pull one up. There's other, I just pulled that one because it was a similar colorway to the team model that he skated all right. the time. So that was the whole thing. But yeah, those were, I mean, this, we had a place in Kansas City called Loma Vista Hardware, and they had a skate shop in the, the basement. And you could go get circus when they first kind of started popping up for like, 30 40 bucks and this was the team model it was always the cheapest one and they had it in my size so i was always grabbing that one Mm. and then when apple yard came up and then started doing his pro models and all that he basically 
revised that team model and made it into his own pro model and uh. that was just the you know the transition from wait that, hold but. up did you say it was at a hardware store mm -hmm. that's fucking sick wow. it was a uh, the dude that owned the hardware store just loved skateboarding so he turned the basement into a skate shop that's, that's so right. legit so you tight. would have to go like you would have to know it was in this place called westport you would go in and he would lock the upstairs and then take you down you know you and your friends or your family or whatever and like open the skate shop for you and like, damn it was wow fucking, it was amazing wow. that's so sick yeah and that's where you got those shoes. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember his name. He was kind of like, he was like a little strange, but he just loved skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Like he was down. Sick. And they opened, like they sold their product. Like, yeah. <laughs> they actually had real product. Like I used to always get like arcade boards there and, you know, circuit. And they, they had legit shit. Wow. But it was just like one of those things. Like you, if you knew, you knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was pretty tight. So <laughs> here we go. This might be, let's let it pop up here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. Is that wait? Is that? It's literally the exact same shoe in a different colorway. Mm. That's the MA is it? too. Yeah. That's the Apple. Yeah, that's right. Yep. God, this is not the shoe that I remember. Go back to hold the other on, one. Hold though. on. There's, a, there's, conflict, there's, there's, there's conflicting there's, there's, images. There is guys. conflicting. What's the difference? I, I think there if is I, that um, little circle that that white circle that's on the blue one. It's not on the brown one unless it carries over. White circle. Not circle, but that half like in the front, but but uh. That's because there's paint. The dip, the outsole is painted differently. Okay. So the outsole on this one, you can still see the little indent where that orange piece was on the other colorway. It's just a little different because of the way they painted it. Can you go back to the other one, Chris? Please? Yeah. Sorry. No, for sure. It's a whole ting. It's a whole ting. This one, the, the, this one right here? No, the other one. The next one. This one, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, so that's different now. Mm -hmm. No, it's hard. It, I... I it, <sighs> Is this the same shoe? It's literally the exact same shoe. It's painted differently. Yeah, I think it's just the low res. You can't tell yes. the things on the on the. You on can the toe. still see that little bump yeah. right there. It's yeah. orange. On the next one, you go back. It's painted black because the way that they painted maybe this. That. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The midsole maybe is completely white on the other one. The patterns yeah. are all still. I mean, there. that's just a shitty ass image. It is. But here's here's another image. <laughs> when it pops up, boom. A different style of painting. Yeah, exactly. I think it, that photo was so bad yeah. that you. You couldn't see those nah, little you details. Couldn't justify that shit. Yeah, yeah, because there's the there's the bumps. Yeah, yeah, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't <laughs> think Jesus knew shit about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he already knows that shit. And what's the name of that shoe, Tim? That says it's the uh, Circa MA402. Mm. That one. Oh, I was gonna say the one above is the Muska. So 2000. That seems about mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. But, you know, moving on with this shoe thing. I, I'm glad you put this on the list, Jesus, because this was just yeah. a fucking, um, a beautiful. Ooh. Oh, yes. I like that one, bro. Yeah. Like MJ. Mm -hmm. America. That was, dude. That Because that came out a little after, I feel like right around, a little after I say the cost of one. And mm -hmm. cost of one had that. Probably like, so, yeah. The, yeah. But like, mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. Shortly after, I feel like. Shortly yeah. after. And, I, and when he, I saw him like four and one skating that shit, yeah. I was like, Phew. That was a beautiful shoe. Yep. The thing I tripped out about that shoe, what I didn't like personally, because I had them in junior high, they didn't have the, the straps tongue on the tongue straps. Mm -hmm. And so it was a little big on me. And the, like I liked it like puffy. Yeah, like and yeah, I would yeah. put the tongues inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the tongues would just fly out because there was just so, <laughs> nothing to hold it yeah, down. Yeah, nothing to hold it down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this was, a, this was another shoe that spawned another rendition of it because Tosh Townen used to always wear those and then when he got his pro model he basically beefed that up and put a T on the side mm, that's right mm -hmm. all I can think of is Jake Phelps it's, when I see those yeah totally yeah, yeah. that's it yeah I feel like America and like Soltec made him specific ones just for him to have that's sick I Ooh, feel like terrible. I heard that because they, they that was not in the line for a while mm -hmm. or maybe he just but Jake always had a pair he, maybe yeah. he just had they gave it to him like, like hold on to these I don't know hmm. yeah, yeah this it. was another moment in time like that yeah this this shoe had a chokehold on you know soul tech for a little bit mm -hmm. oh yeah That's right i had to throw that one in there Aries hey, guy Aries. dude the, the toe on that it actually felt kind of funny mm -hmm. but it was so dope to skate yeah you know it, that how it rolled up on, yeah that was such a weird feeling but it fucking felt tight i so, couldn't find the colorway that i had but another one i got from that hardware store it was the brown and tan oh yeah Ooh, brown and tan was tight yep they had a bunch of good colorways in that one, oh right? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, the royal blue and uh, baby blue. Mm. Oh. oh with a reflective on it? Yes. Yeah. Wow. 
I think they all might have reflective piping. Maybe not so, all yeah. of them, but yeah. Some of them did, yeah. I think they did. Yeah. I was a so, uh, flow fraction for a year or two, mm-hmm. and I just skated that shoe pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. good. That's dope. I love that shoe. Time for some time for some action. I had to throw that one in there. The J Ray. Ray. Yep. The J Ray. That one was another one that was like in its weird like time because fat farms were big when this was popping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like I could rock those and kind of like kick it with the like the homies that don't know about skate, but like mm-hmm. still kind of like let it slide a little bit. Dude, the crazy mm-hmm. thing is J Ray had to like fight to have fat laces Did on his he? shoes. He had a fight for that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Damn. Yeah. Did it come with two laces or just that? It came with two. It came with two. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it came with the fat those ones. Those are the main ones. Yeah. yeah. Wait, they both were fat laces? Nah. No, nah, one was like skinny. a little bit more. Oh, really? Fat and regular, yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. But, but Jeremy really like was like they have to like come with the fat ones on. That's dope. You know? The black and gu- black and white with the fat laces look real good, mm-hmm. dude. I miss getting shoes with double like both laces. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't happen as much. Yeah, it's just I don't know. Just... And a lot of SBs it does too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. Didn't happen like... with a shod. Huh? Doesn't happen with a shod one. No. I feel like it's probably like a dunk in the yeah. dunks. They probably come. I'm speaking oh, yeah. them speaking on dunks. Yeah. Sure. Roger needed a belt today, and they only gave him one pair of laces. <laughs> It's true. Oh, <laughs> it's God. true. Like you know yeah, the, uh, the the our, our mic packs, whatever the um, the zoom ones. Mm-hmm. It has a little loop for it. The the yep, belt loops. Yep. I'm like, oh fuck! I don't even wear a belt today. Mm. <laughs> I have one in my pocket. Some of them have a pocket one too. Yeah. You could just throw it in your pocket. But um, this one, I I love this one too. This is the shoe, the Huff shoe, mm-hmm. bro. Look at that moon boot, bro. I used to run that thing <laughs> to the fucking ground, man. You did I skate that one. Love yeah. that yeah, shoe, bro. I tried it. I couldn't do. Couldn't it. do it. Mm-mm. Damn, I love that shoe. Yeah, yeah. Huff had some good footage in there too, obviously. But <laughs> so good, Teron. I mean, I'm sure there's some DVSs up in here, but like, you had your shoes. But what was a DVS shoe that wasn't your shoe that you skated a ton that you can remember? Oh shit. Um, probably the revival or the stealth. But these are like early on. They were like super bulky and just I wouldn't dare skate those now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was in the time at the time, that was what. What was we Tim's getting... shoe called? Provide oh, and, and I would skate Tim's shoe. Mm-hmm. And I would skate Tim's shoe. That was more of like the super mellow, like... Oh, yeah, that was... What, what was that called? The uh, like Slim or something? No, nah, it was... It was like the most basic looking shoe. He named all of his uh, it, shoes yeah. after cigarettes. So, uh, yeah, the f- first line was all after cigarettes. Yeah, yeah but that but this was after that. Tim didn't... He didn't have in that first line. Mm-hmm. He, it was shortly after that mm-hmm. he had his shoe come out. But it was called the Tim Gavin, I thought, at, in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And then they changed the name. I think. Yeah, I think you're or right. Or I think too. it was called the Gavin. Damn, there there was a name for it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah. I can't, that was a great shoe. And it was. The one shoe I remember you skating too, and Chris was skating it. Was, uh, was it the, the day one or the Sheffy? I Sheffy? skated day one. The Sheffy. The Sheffy. Sheffy. I skated the day one and the Sheffy I did. for sure. Definitely. Yeah. The Sheffy was Sheffy. the crazy big one, yeah. right? Yeah. The soul, yeah. the fucking thing was yeah. big. Like yeah. you were standing yeah. high. I'm like, damn, I'm like an inch and a half higher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that shit looked fresh though. <laughs> it did. I thought everyone I, when I saw that listen video, I was like, damn, oh, yeah. I want to skate those. Yeah, yeah, they were cool for the Let's time. Let's not forget about drawn shoe. Damn, those are that, weathered what the right fuck there. Is that <laughs> oh, that's the that's the three. That was the worst shoe that I had. Tim, I, I, you, you I, foul bro. as fuck. For that. Yeah. Yeah. You just, like, go ahead and find the worst shoe, bro. <laughs> yeah, just like on the shitter. And the, and the image is reversed too. <laughs> wow, bro. Uh, Look at that. You that's showed how... the worst my worst shoe. Thank you. <laughs> I <laughs> Sorry, bro. But the, the <laughs> fact that somebody took photos of How this. How dirty and dusty and those the, things are, dude, bro. Don't, you don't need to put your pants. What the hell is that? I mean, what are we look, Tim, <laughs> what, what are we that, looking what at? That, what are we looking at? Can we, can we show the like the two? Show the J-dubs, too. This is amazing. Jesus. What are oh, they trying to up. showcase there? What are they trying to showcase there? I don't know. How, Shit. What, how, bend, how much the tongue bends? That's amazing, bro. Unbelievable. Bro. Well, while Tim looks for the uh, dubs is two. <laughs> You know, <laughs> why not? Uh, there's other shoes here. Let's see what Caesar, oh, dude, let's I see gotta, what Caesar says here, bro. Oh, uh, so oh bro, so this is... Um, oh, wait, let me switch it back. Sorry. This one was pretty fucking... I, I like the way that this shoe looked, man. The Lakai, the Lakai fade. Oh, yeah, see, uh, that was dope. yeah, this was the OG fade. Yeah, yeah they just that. redid that shoe recently yeah. too, huh? Yeah, this one, in my opinion, was the better of the two. Mm. Um, this one was good. That was good. The OG? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I, that Just mean, the shape of it and everything was on point. 
their shoes when they came out with shoes because like s and dc were like whoa those are tech mm -hmm. they came out and they came out swinging too mm -hmm. they, they had, had some, some stylish shit though. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. carol carol's og yeah. the black with the blue like yeah they definitely they did. had some dope they had like fluidity shoes. to it exactly. where other people were kind of like harsh harsh lines yeah. harsh angles yeah. exactly yeah. yep and it matched Lakai, like it matched their logo and shit yeah. like that. Like it looked that that colorway right there. Wow. Yes, dude, the staple. We should have yep. that one. Staple. staple for sure. Mm -hmm. Lakai had some really good yeah, ones. That, that, that one. to the list. That shit awesome. went right yep. there. Everybody had that shit. Hell yeah, dude. That that that's an night. That's iconic. That's yeah. like that's yeah. an iconic yeah. fucking yeah. skate shoe right there. Like so. looking yeah. down at your foot, you're like. Your sight, dude. You fuck get like giddy yeah. looking down at that. Because I, yeah, I think I've said it. Like when I when I saw Mouse and that shoe wasn't out yet when Mouse came out, I was like, "What are fucking those?" Mm -hmm. Like like they say, first time but, ever. What yeah, are those? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, original colorways <laughs> in those. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> the original colorways in those. So good. The white gum. Yeah. The yes, those first gum, three colorway they set it up, set the fucking yeah. the tone for how this shoe was gonna really broadcast to the world yep. yeah man like the sal 23s at that time mm -hmm. i think like the sal 23s and costin ones were like and they were so soft yeah they were so soft <laughs> butter, <laughs> the butter suede, like, like, butter the, suede. The, the gum rubber was like amazing and like the upper like the new back new buck uh, suede rubber was so mm -hmm. good and when you skated them it i mean they were both, combined with a mesh too yeah, yeah mm. they, the mesh yeah. was crazy and didn't like you didn't blow through it like crazy back then. Nah, it, 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 it takes wear and tear for yeah. sure. Yeah. But they were so thick, but they were so they could they would get worn in so quick. I don't know. Great shoe, man. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the DC Lynx. That one. I never had a pair. Me, really? Me, I never had a pair either. Yeah. Dude, there when was you locked into other shoe companies. You can't really indulge other shoes. Yeah, I was yeah, looking for, for audio for that yeah. time. But I admired from a distance. I definitely liked the silhouette. I loved yeah. the way it looked. You know. <clears throat> I mean, I watched uh, the Sixth Sense with Josh Kalis and Stevie's part, mm -hmm. and I saw. I watched. I went down to the skate shop, skated there, bought the video, skated back to my house, watched the video, skated back down to the skate shop, and bought a pair of links. <laughs> so I was like, "That is when Josh Kalis started like in that colorway with skating." I was like, "This, that is the best looking <laughs> shoe I it's, think I've seen." It's like, the yeah. great looking shoe. It is. It was a little different. It was the first shoe I had seen personally that had that toe. That specific mm -hmm. toe to it, mm. and it just that colorway looks so sick, dude. But it had those lines, Jesus. Where it's like it was harsh, but still yeah, worked. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. This shit went real good. I yeah. mean, it I mean, because they worked. It was some design inspiration from the uh, Air Max ninety five. So like the toe box mm -hmm. that has that same kind of like little arrow essentially type thing. It just kind of gave it that flow coming back up towards the shoe. Mm -hmm. so, hey Dubs, yeah. Did your second shoe have a name? The J Dubs too. J Dubs too. I will say this real quick about this shoe and the XL back then. They these shoes were considered the slim shoes. Yeah, they were the time, like yeah. at the time. I was like, man, these. I, I don't know if I can jump down shit in these shoes, bro. They're kind of thin. And to think about that, saying that now, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I mean that sole is bulky. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if I consider these to be slim, but the excels for sure. For but the, the 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 bottom of them felt thin for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. That fucking that yeah. ad. Oh shit! Was this the super suede ones? No, this is like in the first run. They kind of started oh, promoting okay. it, but just that mm -hmm. that photo, trailers. Yeah, they colored up really dope. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And then just his shoe alone, that one, yeah, is like that colorway. So yeah. good. They I had heard those great looking shoes, yeah, man. Definitely, the black and gum was my like mm -hmm. the, the reason. I call it the reason colorway. Yeah, that one was just yeah. fucking because him and kiss. him and Stevie exactly just, with switch front nose. He does on the fucking yep. and like mm -hmm. the line with the switch flip front five zero. Yep, switch backside exactly. flip. One of the best switch backside flips ever done. Mm -hmm. Dude, mm -hmm. oh, that yeah, shit, all one yeah. yeah, that shit makes me happy, bro. Like yeah, yeah. those these shoes just bring back that time. Yeah. I think when you really, when, personally, when I fell in love with skating, mm -hmm. what's all that mattered is like, it's weird how we consider like a pair of shoes just to coordinate with that feeling. Yeah. Oh, right? dude. Yeah. Absolutely. And any, I mean, I did, I was going through old hip hop uh, the other day. Um, I, I was teleported back into this yeah. era. Like, <laughs> it was crazy, bro. Uh, this, 
The chucka boot. For days. Mm-hmm. I got into these because of Costin. Mm-hmm. He wore his white chucka boots. Looked like he was just wearing socks. Yeah. Skating. Was that a 101 video? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. Falling, Falling down. down. Yeah. And I went and got chucka boots. I was even cutting those motherfuckers too. Like, mm. dude. Uh, Tim Gavin Same. did it for me. Tim Gavin yeah, yeah, too. Tim Gavin yeah. for sure. The, you know what? With the this chucka Friday, boots. there's three new colorways coming out. Of the chucka. Yes, sir. Amazing. Amazing. You know what's awesome about that? It's like, I don't know this. Maybe you guys correct me, but... Those shoes like weren't designed to skate, were they? They're like, no. was it? They just took them and skated them and made them popular. Exactly. Right? It was a sole. Yeah. You know I mean, then they fucking made a, a, a basic top, and you could still skate them. You know yeah. what I mean? How yeah. sick is that? Like this, this. I know it's, it's obvious, but the skaters could just grab something and skate in it and just make it. Flip. Oh yeah. Like, sure. like, oh, yeah. what's going on over here? And like, they used to have like a pigskin leather on the back. And, like mm-hmm. they used to be like they style kind of up. like lux for sure. You know? Yeah, definitely. That's why, probably why they use it so much in the vault. Uh, they yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jimmy Grecky just did a vault thing. Oh with yeah, them right. and stuff yeah, like I that. got that. Yeah, he yeah. hooked this up. Uh, this was another popular Vans as well. Down. Style yeah. thirty six. Now the old school. The old school, yeah. Mm-hmm. Still, I mean, still, it's a, it's, a it's a classic. Still a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. You know, yeah. can't can't go wrong with that, bro. Mm-mm. I mean, there's so many, right? Dude, like so many. Shoes. I would have sent that Converse One Star because I didn't participate. The Converse One Star. The Converse One Star, where they were sending. I think I've spoke on this before, but they were sending them a bunch to girl yep. for a while, and I remember I'd just go and I would stack up some, and I would be repping those for quite some time. Man. And those, they were a the, great shoe. That shoe skated a lot like that. Totally. Yeah. I remember mm-hmm. seeing you guys in uh, back in the day. You and guy skating the One Stars, mm-hmm. and. We, I couldn't didn't know where to find them. Nobody could find them anyway. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I want to skate those ones, but I couldn't go to a skate shop. They were, Converse was not at skate shops back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. You might be able to find them in the East Coast. I think that would probably oh, really? be a little yeah. easier for you to find them. But at the same time, it was like they were scarce. So yeah. I was kind of stoked that nobody could even get these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you guys made me want to buy them, but I couldn't buy or I couldn't get them anywhere. Yeah. So there, what... Converse was planting the seed, yeah. and then they didn't follow up. Converse was literally a ball. block from my house. They dropped the ball. Damn. But here they are. They're, they watered are. them plants. Yeah. Let's see here. We got a dubs. Let me get through this ad. Uh oh. The hill. What? We got yes, ads and shit. Um, ads here we go. Shit. Here we go. Let me switch over to this. Dude, I loved doing the, that. The, the dubs two. The J dubs two. Right? Nope. 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 That's nope. not the two. Nope. Man, but this is tough. That's to a, track a that. diamond collabo though. Okay. Yeah. Is that the I one? I think that's the. Oh, no. Fuck. Is that the? F- that's later on. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, later. Two is the one with the strap, four, right? The sixty nine. That's a four or the five. One of the other. Mm. Damn, Dubs had okay. shoes. I know. Bro, I had quite I know. a few. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, it is hard to find an. It, it's hard to Just, find an image of the second one. What about if, if you put, if you put or if you put Jerron Wilson? Yeah, two, two Jerron shoes. Wilson. Dude, it's, DBS. it's like it keeps coming up because DVS is, is still making shoes. It comes uh, up with all this mm, crazy shit. Okay. Wow. Well, keep trying, Tim. Keep trying. I'm trying, we'll, guys. We'll, we'll, right. we'll, we'll, we'll touch back with you they in a little bit. Put that back in the shuffle. We'll they back shuffle that way back. Bit. If Skate Lee was around still, yeah. you could find it on there. You know? um, the Muska. Mm. Damn. I never... Red Toe. I oh, love... Oh, yeah. C, uh, CM503s. <laughs> How do you, dude? How the fast? Yeah. Yeah, seriously, how do you? It's know like that? Kelly with the four one one. Yeah, but oh, the issue forty two. He knows all the serial numbers for shoes. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find Dub shoe for Tim. Right we're, now. That's we're, what I'm about to do too. I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna take over here. We'll all see. Right, so, so so far, this is the best one I think I can find. It better not be coming out of a toilet again, like bro. The last it's one. not. <laughs> you just humiliated me, bro. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> um. Are these Dude, the two? I, like are these, I know they look busted, yeah, but I think the, the, the water those, tower. Those, I think those are them. I think they are. Hold on, dude. I have to get it close. Bro, up, it is hard to find an image of that shoe. Like, yo, I got, this, I got this ill water tower. It matches it, dude. Let's get it <laughs> nah, right here. I don't, I'm going to top my car. That? Is that the, I, you gotta, I gotta zoom in on that thing, dude. I'm here, sorry. You want me to put it? Oh, no. Fuck. You know what you should do? Go just like pull up um, like skate, somebody from Skatemore. Like, everybody warm in Skatemore. Uh, oh yeah, Tori would skate in them, right? Tori, Mikey, yeah. like yeah. Everybody. Dubs, is that it? I mean, that's a no. They keep showing that budget ass three. That's the worst <laughs> one. That is the, like worst, the worst one. The worst. Yeah. One. Somebody said the worst somebody said one. strap. So I, that's whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, hold on, hold on. Euros? Going back in, guys. <laughs> going back in. Going back in. This is hey, we're live, baby. This is wow. what we do. Can we? Uh, what about Kareem Campbell had some good ones. Yes, he definitely did. He had like the Casey K for Duffs. 
he had the KCK was sick, but it really gave you like blisters in the back of your heel. But you look oh, really yeah. the shit. I could see, I definitely remember that. Yeah. I, the KCKs. I never had a pair. I just saw a trilogy. I was like, those are look look like the coolest shoes ever. Yeah. Look how fucking high he is above that thing. I know, dude. Blast off. And then so also sick. the uh, the action version. Dude, Actions. that I had a pair of those. That shoe skated so fucking good. The flick on it, it had like a pointy toe, but like. I don't know, that colorway, I mean, that's kind of iconic for any yeah. good yeah. shoe. Brown and gum always a good. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's on top of a photosynthesis VHS. Which is really yeah. random, but... Super <laughs> random. <laughs> kids, sure. kids, that's how we used to watch our skate videos. <laughs> <How>? <laughs> on shoes? Oh on God. shoes. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm like, I don't think there's a pair, one pair of actions in that video. Probably not. Photosynthesis? No. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't imagine. No. Someone in the background, maybe. Ooh. Uh, the S Muscas. Yup. Wow. That That's colorway is banging, dude. Banging. Yeah, that. Dude, everything about that. The way that that sounded when it grinded didn't make sense, but it was so good. Oh, that ledge? Because yeah. it's wood. It was yeah, wood. wood. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing that's shitty about that, it was at the San Clemente Post Office. Because I had ran, I would skate down there a bunch, mm-hmm. and that ground leading up to it was like super cheap. Like, I mean, this is the tile. same guy who did a fucking like 20 stair lip slide off carpet. Yep. Oh, like, yeah. He's he's fucked. I don't know if it was 20. I forgot how many stairs it actually was. But Muska in that era was just going for it. Dude, ghetto child shirt, that board. <sighs> so with good. TSA uh, pants? Yeah. Well, TSA pants with yeah. th- that colorway. Dude. Yeah, he was only in the, uh, the red, black, and white colorways. So All good. of his, sh- man. That, yeah. Don't be surprised if we bring that one back. I don't know. <laughs> Well, they erased this on the internet. I mean, dude, <laughs> I can't find it. Huh? It feels like a fever dream. I couldn't find, I can't it, find it. It's a it. Mandela effect. Mandela. Yeah. Fever dream. Like, what yeah. the it, fuck, it, dude? I'm right, tripping. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't that good. <laughs> That's wild. Had Reynolds? to throw this one in there. Reynolds three with the earrings. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man, I worked at a skate shop. Well, rode for a skate shop. Kind of worked there part time. I stole all the earrings out of them shoes. Wow. <laughs> and, then, and then I would put them in my dunks. <laughs> and the sole was a little thin down. You could tell that we the were, sole you was know. mad thin. This yeah. was like yeah. this is right when right the Vulcan eyes started yeah. to come through and yep. change the game. I never. But LB... it was still. If you go back and look at it, it's still bulky. Like look how small that toe is. Yeah, it's right. Like it was like yeah. The upper was a short ramp. Yeah. The upper yeah. was bulky, but the, and the, even the Volk is still kind of bulky a little, a little bit. bit. It, it was the, like the early years. Of like, okay, we're slimming things down. Yeah. We're really gonna try and like they're on their way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember LD. I, he was skating. He's a shitload when he was on oh, S. I remember he said that. I, yeah. I think he he would paint them. He would paint them, but he started design. He started skating this shoe, and then he's like, I'm gonna make mm. my theory shoe kind of based ar- not around the shoe, but yeah. the Volk. And mm-hmm. I mean, that's how. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. how it happens quite a bit. I mean, there's so many shoes. That meant a lot to so many people, yeah. right? Is there anything else that you guys want to touch on really quick? Um, oh, any other shoes that you I could think know. of? I guess I put a bunch of them on. No, this. there's a bunch. It's great. I mean, there's so many. I mean, like the Nike Dunk has become. The Hunter, yeah. yeah. You yeah, know. With those. Shout out Reese Forbes. Yeah. Yeah. Reese Forbes. I got to say the, uh, the Jeremy Ray Duke. The Jeremy Ray Duke. Oh, that had like a really good silhouette. Mm-hmm. Like that. It, the shape of it looks super good. Mm-hmm. Dude, I literally skated hundreds of pairs of those. I love that shoe. Like, it looks super sick. They had a, like, it was uh, Jeremy Ray, Pat, or Pat Chinita. Jerry Fowler. And Jerry. Mm. But, dude, I remember um, Skechers, like, totally ripped the shoe yep. off. Yep. Like, completely <laughs> ripped completely. it off. They literally do. Like, it was the exact same They've shit, They've done right? that to quite <laughs> a mini, sh- mini shoe. Because if you change, I think it's 10%, they can get away with yep. it. Yep. They probably still have it in the line. I believe it. I'm I sure they do. Yeah. You know it's what? It's almost sh- the shoes that uh, da- Larry David wears. Simples. 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 I was just going to say yeah. that, dude, like, Sad would skate those shoes. Mark Gonzalez would skate I them. had a pair. Dude, the coolest thing about those shoes is the um, the footbed molded to your foot. Mm. So, like, after you wore them for a day, like, they fit like a glove. Mm. They were wow. pretty awesome. Did you microwave them? They didn't microwave them. And <laughs> they also had a, um, a charcoal footbed. So you put oh, it in stink. stink. Yeah. Oh. Damn, I needed that shit. I never Smart. really skated Dukes or anything, but I, I I didn't even notice on their boxes Division of Plan B. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never even... I mean... It, it was basically Mike Trinansky and German Ray's company. But I didn't know that they advertised it like that. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That was like the very beginning. Never even saw Look that. Look how... Kind of upselling, huh? Yeah. That's a great looking shoe, dude. How, how like... If that was the first shoe coming out the gate, they killed it. Yep. Was that like off of Duff's? Was that like a... It was... 
I mean, it was under the same factory. Oh, mm. but like there are, Duff's had some good ones. Dude, I, I was like trying to find the Stromboli. Ahead, yeah, the Stromboli in the Cob Knobbler was yep. like yeah, that good. <laughs> wow. Cob Knobbler. Hey Dubs, I'm convinced you never had a second shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it just went to like it's the first or, one to the third for, one. It's not in the. It's not on the internet. God, no, it doesn't it. exist. I, I mean, it seems like it doesn't. I can't believe it's been it. Well, you know what, Dubs? Wiped from well, the next episode, so why don't you bring in a pair? Do you have a pair of? Uh, I've got plenty of pairs. Wait, are, there, are there any I'm, here right now? Huh? Are there any here? No, not here. We okay. believe They're you, at the house. John. We believe you. You know, even if you didn't believe me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was the best selling one, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of like blown away that it's not like on the up. internet. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I mean? So strange. That third wow. one seriously was like I don't even think I skated it yeah. on some real shit. Hmm. Let's just give another shout out real quick to Costin. There's yes. a Costin Nike SB Costin one. That's the one I was talking about. That's the golf but... one. No, 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 no. That's no. his first pro model, oh, but it was, okay. it was golf inspired. Yes. Mm-hmm. But that was the one where he had to fight to get the lunar line insole because they wanted to put the right. ridges on the outside. Right. Oh. Similar to what a shot has on his insole. Mm. But that one that one was sick because I remember watching his, I think it was his footnotes on the barracks where he explained the lines and how you line up your putts and how that can help with your kick flip placement and mm. like figuring out where your feet go. Like, there was a lot of golf inspiration in that shoe. Shout out to Eric, because seriously, he was ahead of the game with the golf shit. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was very resistant to that shit. Yeah. But, like, he definitely knew what he was doing at that time, because seriously, the, the, again, the parallels from golf and, and, and skateboarding are fucking so insane. I think so, I think that shoe and the, um, the Kobe were built on the same last. I can see that. Oh. And that's why they did mm-hmm. the collab. The Kobe together. Costin. Yeah. Ah, that's that true. one, yes. Oh, yeah. The wow. Kobe, the Kobe 6 in the Costin 1. Mm-hmm. Yep. That might be one of my favorite shoes that I've literally ever skated. Yeah. I, I, for, I think for like, shout out to Scuba Steve. Dude, Thank you. you. Had so many of those. Like oh, yeah. when, when S was in the hiatus, that's literally all the only shoe I skated. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, shout out to Scuba Steve. Shout yeah. out. Dude, he... I appreciate you. He mm. blesses so many people mm-hmm. with free shoes. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh! Wow. Tim what? did not find these. Shout, that out, was to, JC. shout out to Justin Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JC. Yeah. Goodness, that's a proper photo. This is the one. This is the colorway that color everybody way. really ran with, man. Got some good clips in that. It was I funny about that shoe. Found. Did this drop around St. Patty's Day? It should have based on the color one. <laughs> uh, uh, other, I, I always Amazon. look at shoes and look at like uh, logos and stuff like that and branding. Like, there's not uh, other than the sole. Oh, the there's bo- no branding. There's on no shit. branding. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, definitely on the little uh, yeah. strap. Mm-hmm. And then Which on you the, took on, off on the tongue. Yes, exactly. And then on the <laughs> there's tongue, probably like a hit in the back, too. and then a hit on the back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you but prefer that's that? That's what you wanted. Were you like? Well, I wanted a, definitely a, a, a plain shoe. Like, I didn't want a bunch of fucking logos on it and all that. Uh, so yes, they 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 followed the the strategy of what I wanted at the time. I was gonna say that set it apart because a lot of shoes at that time on DVS had that big logo totally. on the side. Yep. So that's no, that I was, was happy clean. that they were able to like really push that through, and it and it and it worked. Were know? there any shoes you took influence from when you were coming up with this? Uh, no, not that I. Maybe you know what? Slightly of 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 Keenan's shoe. Mm. There's a little little essence of it, but oh, at yeah. the same time, it's it was. It was it was changed up slightly. I see a little reef there. <laughs> yeah, we took a little bit from reef. <laughs> reef. Dan, and, didn't uh, uh, Kyle Berard skate for them, right? Didn't he say <laughs> probably? It, yeah, I think he did. I think you're right. Wow. I think he did. Yeah, reef. Dude, I uh, sold so Duffy. many fucking chads. Those shoes with the bottle, those flip flops oh, with the bottle. Oh yeah, oh, that's God. just a little extra upsell. Like, nah, Bro. anyone got a bottle? Over? Yeah, uh, let yeah, me take off my flip flop. <laughs> Well, the age-old question, best skate shoe ever, is, I mean, it's, it's never going to be answered, but uh, this is uh, some of ours. Yeah. We can go around the room. Some oh, of dude, ours. There's way more to even talk about. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, I if mean, we, we had could... to pick one, what would yours be, Chris? The Hamilton. Yep. But that's not true, though, because every you know generation of shoes, there was a new favorite shoe. Mm-hmm. It was like the Apple Yard mm-hmm. for a while that we had a big, huge debate about, you know, yeah. just uh, about 20 minutes ago. Massive. Huge debate. I still think, though, like, <laughs> but, there, you know, there's so, those moments, but, like, for me, DC Lynx HG is going to be the best skate shoe to me. Like, at, at, uh, all time. All time. All time. Yeah, I, pro- I wouldn't wear it. Like, I would, if I had some now, I'd try and find a way to wear it, but, like, the way, that's the Lynx. That's the first Lynx. What did you I, say? Lynx HG. I put a, a black and gum pair oh, in there, okay. I believe. Okay, let's see. Um, 
It was something about that. Like the Lynx was great, but then the Lynx HE was just that that little Wait, bump. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, See, that's. Did you find the smallest little images? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, but it's still got good resolution to yeah, a degree. You can see the bumps. Uh, you can at least uh, tell that's the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shoe, man. That one. I did pull those off the Discord, so directly. Yeah. Without yeah, going to the original. Oh, gotta that's, go, that's, gotta yeah, go yeah. the original. Yeah. But uh, so that's your all time. That's what. Yeah, 100%. I've talked about it numerous times. That's like hands down. I've skated a lot of other shoes. I like a lot of other shoes, but for me, that was the one that I had the most colorways of and just the most doubles and mm. skated consistently. And it was just that. Yeah. And I think at that moment in time in my skateboarding too, it was just like perfect. That when we it. first met on my DC tour back in the day, mm -hmm. that's the Lynx HE mm -hmm. time. Yep. The white with the black. White and black. I think I'm in mm -hmm. that tour video. Someone posted it recently. It's like Kayla's Deer Deck Me and like Galant, mm -hmm. and I'm skating in those ones. Yep. But I met you skating in those shoes. I think you were skating the same pair. I was. Yeah. And you tried to get <laughs> yeah. me out on a twin in <laughs> backside late yeah. kickflip. Back. Yeah. Yeah. I was I, like, I you I tried dirty that. ass. Guy. I was that kid, man. <laughs> And winning was like, I'll give you twenty dollars if you beat him. I was like, say less, player. Let's that's go. Good. But that's once he good. tried that fucked up, I was like, nope, game <laughs> over, dog. No, but that shit was so fucking. Good. Yeah, Kelly, do you have an all time favorite? I will say that the the, uh, the OG XL, especially back vein. Um, when I skated that shoe, like when I was a kid, and then I got on S when I was a kid, like flow for S, it was it was night and day different. Like you talking about Matt. Board madness. You have shoe madness too, dude. Mm -hmm. Shoe yeah. madness is a real thing. Talk yeah. to Mikey Fuck Taylor about yeah. that. Talk to like you know certain skaters really yeah. have that. And I had it too. That shoe just really brought me back, and I was like, "This is home. This is what mm -hmm. the perfect mm -hmm. flick." That's right. And you look down, and you were happy. Yeah. So Hell yeah. I think mine. I, I mean, I, I'm sitting here thinking about it too, and I really did have the best of times it was a short period of time i think it was dvs or something it was like this in between time but the mark apple yard i like i fucking love that shoe this mm -hmm. doesn't look like the mark apple yard i skated but i don't know nevertheless i loved it yeah, yeah. i it was all-time favorite shoe oh, for yeah. me was that when you were on flow for or i don't on? remember the circumstances a force? it was like maybe a, in between like a force and a dvs or like a uh, dvs and like so, whenever this came out early 2000s so i, I don't remember the, the time but it was a short period of time might have been yeah. before you're on audio mm -hmm. yeah if that could be too and i was just skating those fucking shoes i loved them dude then i got an audio and it was hamilton's <laughs> Changed it quick. All day. what about you dubs um i think i'm gonna go with half caps just half because caps. i had a okay. good a good run with half calves, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I should cliche like I should be saying like, "Oh, my shoe!" Like, no. At the end of the day, I really had a great learning experience in half calves, and they've they've definitely. When I was skating vulcanized, like now I don't really skate vulcanized. So if I kind of like dibble dabble back, I think I would have a harder time because I would have to adjust because mm -hmm. I'm so used to cup soles. But I think this is like a, a staple, legendary shoe um, for skateboarding, and you know. A, like I said, at the time when I was really indulging on these in these shoes, I, I definitely had had a great time. That's and, it. Yeah, so that's yeah. the one for me. Okay, uh, Raj, I assume. Yeah, um, after skating for about thirty five plus years, I think <laughs> half cabs are my go to. I yeah. always go back to them every single time, and I always love them. Um, if I could find the Jeremy Ray Dukes, I would mm. totally have that in my fucking rotation, along with Janowski's shoe. Okay. You know, okay. But have to so even Janowski. Long. So it's it's the three actually. It's you know the all time thirty years of the cab shoe, mm -hmm. and then the old school Jeremy Ray Dukes, and mm -hmm. then the kind of newer generation. Uh, yeah, kind Steph of. Like, so yeah, so yeah. early nineties, whatever. Mm -hmm. I loved half cabs, and then like mi like mid ninety five, whatever. Like I was rocking a lot of like Dukes, the Dukes, you know. Cups and then yeah. always wanted to find a. Actually, uh, it probably went back to half cabs, and I got. Started working for audio, mm -hmm. and then it was like eight dark years, and then um, <laughs> Janowski's. You know, I listen hands down Janowski. I, I, I skated the Janowski's for a dumb long, yeah. and I loved it. It was a shoe straight out of the box. Boom! Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight out of the box. Put it on. You're good to go. You, I mean, you know, I flex my shoes a couple times. Put them on the boat. Dude, especially yeah. back when they came with the cork insoles and the leather. Oh, laces. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. The leather laces was the shit. Yeah. Extra stiff, and that was a shoe that hit. 
skating super hard, but you saw everyone wearing mm-hmm. that. Like mainstream yeah, rocking it hard. Went, yeah. That shit went. It was just Ooh. everywhere. Because it was like a cool Sperry. Yeah. yeah. The boat, that boat shoe. Boat I remember yeah. having the boat shoe, and they, they were shit. Those were, I rocked the all white ones to school. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then they came out there and was like, damn, they <laughs> just flipped it a little bit. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Stefan did. You know what he was doing. I mean, he did. That might, in my, I mean, dunks are very iconic, but for like, Pure skateboarding, I feel like this is probably their oh hundred percent. This Absolutely. is their shoe. It's its own sure. factory. Yeah. Like they for made sure. a staple. I mean, they made an impact in skateboarding by designing one of the most famous shoes. Oh yeah, of, yeah. Of all sure. time skateboarding right here. With that's this. their Chuck yeah. Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and that's amazing. Yeah, uh, unbeknownst to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. They, know, they, right? didn't, they didn't want it. They didn't want the shoe. It's like that in the Air Force One. I feel will be there forever. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, good shit on the shoes, shit, man. Yeah. Whoa, happy holidays. Hey, happy happy holidays. holidays. <laughs> That was a. It was funny. JC was like, "I don't know what's going on. Like, I, I see this holiday. I can't find it anymore." There it was, JC. Yep. There it was. Surprise! Hey, Surprise. shoes. It'll never. You know, it's, it's all, all it's all subjective. Totally, it's all personal preference. Yeah, that's true. true. There's just a lot of sh- like. There's so many on that Discord too that just had moments in skateboarding mm-hmm. or somebody like a brand was trying to do something or. Like even the, I put the um, super sky tops like those transcended skateboarding. Oh, yeah. You had people so like crazy Bieber wearing them on the VMAs and shit like that. Yeah. Right, it was just they so definitely many, had a moment with those. Yeah, you know, Hell so many yeah. things that shoes have done for skateboarding. And so how on. funny is that? Like a sh- when you're developing a shoe, you're like you're just you, this would be the next skate shoe. You don't know that at all. You yeah. don't know what's gonna hit, what's not. Like yeah. you know, you just half the time they just design it for themselves. Yeah, they have I mean, no idea that the fucking general public's gonna love it. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you don't have no idea what's gonna hit. Mm-hmm. You could yeah. might think you do and put all the marketing and it doesn't work. Yep, but yeah. it just and certain and it's eras too. Like yeah. whatever that era and that moment in time is, that plays a big part. The, in the it. crazy sure. thing is, like, there's like been so many great shoes that never got a chance because like like oh. It didn't sell that well the first round, whatever. Like, yeah, let's move on. Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. if they just gave it, like, one more season, it could have hit. Yeah. You know? yeah, there you go. There you it's go. timing, too, right? Yeah. 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 But they know usually how fast that shit's going to, like, you know, work based on numbers. If your shit ain't got the numbers, then, yep. hey, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we got to let that shit go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Where is that like button, right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on my left. Right? No, on my your left. left. Hey, yeah, hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Right oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. I mean, the subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. Yeah. All right.